Allow me to introduce one of the most popular and profitable liquidity providers in the game. Suppose you're in search of a fully autonomous liquidity provider that employs some DYDX with leverage, then signing up with a stable pool platform and staking your dormant tokens to earn some profits on the side just happens to be the best course of action for adept investors in this asset class. This platform is slated explicitly for those users who want to stake their crypto assets and earn between 0.325 to 0.415% of their staked holdings daily for a lifetime. Through Stablepool's simple user interface, you can enlist your coins for staking in exchange for a 6% annual percentage rate, double what the traditional banking system currently offers. Stablepool offers one of the essential components of any market, asset, or trading instrument, which is liquidity. The platform allows crypto holders and anyone with access to crypto and the internet to contribute to the liquidity pool by staking their investments to earn rewards on the side, just as they hodl through the crypto dips and swings. Once signed up on the platform, on the left menu bar just below the dashboard is a button that says Top Up. Click on that to add the cryptocurrency and the corresponding amount that you wish to deposit or stake on the platform. After that, revisit the left pane and hit the Open Staking button to view how much of your bet amount will be earned as interest within 12 hours, a number between 0.1 to 0.2%. Signing up to the platform through our affiliate link, which can be found in the description section below, allows you to earn rewards and cash prizes equivalent to a random cryptocurrency. Thanks for watching Make Money Online. If you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on post notifications. We also have a crypto discord group where we give out calls for our favorite altcoins, and you can also win special rewards for inviting your friends to the group. Links for that are in the description. As discovered by Twitter user W. Kahneman, the leaked Goldman Sachs presentation, link to that in the description section below, breaks down digital assets and blockchain for their investment banking division to get them up to speed with what's happening in blockchain. But what raised eyebrows was on page 37, where Goldman called out Circle, Coinbase, and Ripple as what they consider to be the standards for crypto payment ecosystems. RippleNet was acknowledged as the cross-border payment system in the document that was the middleman between on-ramps like Circle and off-ramps like Coinbase. This is excellent news for the XRP community and its holders, and proves that the SEC case against XRP is nothing but a smoke show. And from an overview, it's clear that XRP will come out on top. Not to mention the fallout happening in the SEC camp even among its authorities. The previous SEC high-ranking official, Joseph Grundfest, stated earlier this year that the SEC had already lost the case. More so, it appears that April will be an excellent month for Ripple, its holders, and its community, as several of the developments as of late have gone in favor of Ripple, and it seems to be on a streak. The past 30 days have had XRP in a great position, talking on the market side, so keep that in mind. In other news in the crypto world, the Pan-European Commercial Bank and Italy's second-largest financial institution, Unicredit, were given a $144 million fine for illegally closing the accounts of a crypto mining firm. A subsidiary of Bitminer Factory reported the inappropriate closure of its accounts, charging the Unicredit Banja Luca branch. It also stated that the wrongful closure prevented the initial coin offering, which is associated with startup projects in the cryptocurrency mining sector utilizing renewable power in Bosnia and Herzegovina. The crypto mining firm is currently there due to the country's flat power charge, and so to have a running project, it established bank accounts with Unicredit. At the start, Unicredit permitted the crypto mining firm to withdraw profits from the sale of mined crypto to its accounts. Then, subsequently, the financial institution restricted the facility, stating that it no longer can serve as contractors and crypto firms. Throughout the lawsuit, Unicredit could not provide legal documents supporting its claims of service restriction on crypto firms. Meanwhile, the evidence brought forward by the crypto mining firm was valid and sufficient. And so, due to that, the district court in Banja Luka ruled that the Unicredit office in the country pays a fine of 131 million euros in damages, which converts to about 144 million dollars. However, Unicredit wasn't satisfied with the ruling and has appealed the verdict. And as indicated by the commercial bank, the sentence is not definitive, binding, and neither is it enforceable. It noted that possible liability would be determined only by the outcome of all available procedural remedies and not before the filing of a definitive and binding sentence by the appeals court. Furthermore, Unicredit is not the first to refuse to service crypto mining firms, merchants, or holders. In response to a Twitter user back in January, Unicredit stated that the present group policies prohibit relations with counterparties using virtual currencies or acting as exchange platforms. Now back to Ripple, XRP price prediction this year indicates more optimism than 2021 figures. The coming month seems to be very promising for Ripple and its community as a series of recent developments have tipped in the company's favor. In the last month, XRP has been doing just great on the market side as it managed to surge by almost 30%. And according to CoinMarketCap, XRP yet remains the 7th largest cryptocurrency. 
With an overall market cap of more than $48 billion, despite its ongoing legal brawl with the Securities and Exchange Commission. On March 7th, the XRP USDT pair rebounded from the 70 cents local support. However, the recovery, as of late, sets a gradual pace, as it's boxed in within a rising wedge pattern. The coin is currently trading at around the 84 cents mark, indicating an 18.5% gain from the bottom support. The gradual recovery in XRP's price reaches the 80 to 90 cents resistance zone. The necessity for a strong bullish momentum and decreasing volume activity might lead to a bearish reversal. Assuming that is the case, the support trend line breakdown stands as an important validation for short sellers. Furthermore, in a conversation with Finance Feeds, Natalia Zakharova, head of business development at FX Open, spoke concerning her views on the XRP lawsuit and the potential for an upside. She stated that while it isn't yet conclusive, there is a sway of opinion toward the litigation against Ripple to be settled in the company's favor. Onlookers and even leading academics from major universities have already publicly given opinions that the lawsuit is baseless and that Ripple will either win it or it will be settled in Ripple's favor outside of the courtroom. She further added that concerning XRP's price, there is most definitely a possibility of its value accelerating dramatically, as Ripple kept building its scope and network across the globe and this has made XRP take the center stage of a larger economy. And not only does the digital asset reduce transaction fees, but it's also placed as a default digital settlement currency which can act as a mediator between all other digital transactions. She concluded that besides Ripple's successful play in court and the fast-growing network for XRP, current events could also positively affect the price of XRP as inflation, stagnation, and economic war may trigger a surge in demand for crypto, with XRP as a natural favorite. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and turn on bell notifications. If you have any questions, drop us a comment and we'll see you next time.